May 22, 1872, marked a major milestone as our nation recovered from the Civil War. That's the day President Ulysses S. Grant signed the Amnesty Act of 1872. It ended voting restrictions and office-holding disqualifications against most of the Confederate troops and secessionists who rebelled against the United States. During the war years, on multiple occasions, Congress made amnesty offers, but they never worked out. And while the Civil War ended in April 1865, it took more than a decade for Congress to return the nation to much of its pre-war unity. With the Amnesty Act, full rights were restored to those who had rebelled. The act conferred those rights to over 150,000 former Confederate troops, with the exception of some 500 military leaders of the Confederacy.